Hey, uh, this is Leo at the lead time. Uh, today I want to show you how to make a pine needle uh, hydrosol and essential oil uh, by using my uh, new uh, LT3000 uh, tower distiller. Uh, before the distillation, I want to give you a short introduction. Um, so this distiller is made all by uh, uh, high grade um, 304 stainless steel. Uh, normally you have this extension tube you can connect here so this can sit on the same level with your uh, the steam part um, and in this uh, kit there are three major components so one is the pot second is a column and this is a condenser the overall volume of the steam part is a three liter uh, the pot has a two liter and this one has one liter. Uh, when you do the steam distillation, that means you have water here and a boiling and a steam pass through the material you want to distill here and then you go through here and condense it. Uh, or you can do your just hydro distillation uh, by putting material and water mix here and leave this empty and pass through here. And also actually you can take this out and put the cover just directly on the pot uh, when you're doing the uh, hydro distillation or you try to make a uh, distilled water. The other part I want to introduce you is the condenser. Uh, condenser is uh, one of the most important part uh, in the dis uh, distillation uh, process. Uh, so I designed this as a bifunctional uh, condensation. So you can either manually add ice cube or cold water here and periodically uh, scoop them out uh, or you can use a circulation so it's pretty easy you just take this out and uh, hook your the circulation onto here so the cold water in here and then water go back uh, you can either use your hose or you can use a, a pump circulation the bucket pump circulation system Okay, so yeah, uh, this morning I pick uh, my uh, pine needle. Uh, so I choose those uh, young pine needle uh, and which grow at the tip and I cut it. Uh, it has a still very good uh, uh, pine uh, the aroma. Uh, so the first step, we gotta add water into the pot uh, and then uh, wash wash the pine needle and put in the column uh, so we can start the distillation and also today I'm using the induction uh, uh, cooktop uh, the benefit of this LT3000 is you can use either on induction or fire or electric so it works for all of them uh, add water in the pot You can add all the way to the edge of here, and that is about uh, two liters. So just rinse uh, pine needle. Pick up, open the column, uh, remove the cap. Um, in the column, there's a sieve uh, on the top. Uh, you can see the bottom, um, there's uh, also the sieve there. Um, so, just add in everything in there. Um, press it. Just make it. Yeah, so when you press down, actually, there's uh, this is pretty, pretty big size. Actually, I can add more. I can add like a thirty percent more. Um, today I just use that much. So close it so the top C will stop here. It will not fall fall uh, fall down. And then so the next step is just close this. This is ready. And this uh, the pot, same thing, you just hand tighten it, 
Uh, so now it's good. On the uh, induction uh, cooktop, and I like an induction cooktop because uh, it's easier to use and easier to control. And then just uh, connect the steam part with the condenser. Um, so today I use a, a, a lap a jack stand so I can adjust the height, but you don't have to. You can use whatever you, you have if you want to uh, adjust the, the height. Okay, and also I'm going to use uh, uh, my bucket uh, pump circulation. So we recommend use a three gallon uh, size or bigger uh, the water bucket. And I use a pump, uh, submergible water pump. Uh, you can use like an aquarium pump, small pump. Um, so cold water go in at the bottom. And then the circulation back uh, from the top. Okay, so there are a couple of things important uh, when you use a circulation system. Uh, the one thing is you want to have um, the, uh, the, the back flow uh, tubing is on top of the water. Uh, and also you have a, a, a little bit like a high uh, differentiation between the um, here and to the water surface. Also, before you start it, uh, always uh, test, test your circulation before you start any uh, uh, hot work. Um, so just plug in, the, plug in the pump and checking how it works. We also recommend you put a, a valve between the pump and uh, the uh, conden condenser. Uh, so you can adjust your uh, the circulation flow rate. Circulation is make sure your uh, water level is uh, constant uh, during the circulation. So let's go back to the bucket. After we check the circulation is working uh, properly, and then we can turn on the, um, the induction uh, cooktop. So start our uh, steam distillation. In the beginning, we can turn the high heat. After the water start boiling, then we can uh, adjust the, the heat level. Now the hydrosol start to uh, flow out of the condenser. So after about um, 25 minutes, uh, I collected uh, almost 500 uh, milliliter uh, of hydrosol. Uh, you can see their beautiful, the cloudy uh, color. That means you know during their distillation, the oil phase, they call it essential oil, has been dispersed in the hydrosol. And this is the unique for the, you know, fresh-made uh, hydrosol. It's uh, kind of milky. Uh, 
I'm going to continue my distillation for another 30 minutes. Uh, normally with LT3000, you can collect the one liter of a hydrosol uh, within like 45 to uh, one hour minute based on the power of your heater. Um, yes, uh, the pine needle hydrosol, it's uh, uh, very good uh, uh, have in this, especially in this season uh, because of its a special uh, aroma. Uh, it can lift up your environment. You can just spray in the air or put in the diffuser. So add some scent in your, uh, in your place. And also the pine needle hydrosol has a good uh, anti-inflammation uh, property. So you can, that's why it, it has been used as a, a skin toner or skin uh, moisturizer. Uh, to help relieve your, your eczema uh, and also it has uh, antiseptic uh, uh, behavior uh, it can kill the virus um, so that means uh, you know you can use that to do your house cleaning uh, clean the kitchen uh, clean the, your table and even clean your furniture uh, yes so today I show you uh, by using the LT3000 uh, with a fresh pick uh, uh, pine needle I do the steam distillation uh, I got this beautiful milky uh, hydrosol and uh, also yeah, uh, also introduce you to use the circulation system uh, what you should be, uh, be careful when you're using uh, your circulation system uh, if you have uh, questions uh, comments live here uh, don't forget like the video and uh, share with your friends uh, and see you next time